Tony Massey Bloomfield is a British citizen who has lived in Kenya for 77 years and has also witnessed some of the historic events, including the 1963 transition of Kenya from a British colony to a sovereign state. Tony also witnessed the 1952 ascension to the throne of Queen Elizabeth II while she was on tour in Kenya. Marie Yambo caught up with Tony at his home uh, here in Nairobi, Kenya, the Halingam area, to try and understand what the British monarchy means to the people of England, the do's, the don'ts, when the king is around. 86-year-old Tony Massey Blomfeld is a royal enthusiast, although he has lived most of his life in Kenya. He believes the king is a symbol of spiritual leadership. I love the monarchy because I think uh, you're probably aware that on the crown of all the royal crowns is a cross to remind us all that she is aware of, and he is now, aware of the king of kings and the lord of lords and Lord of Lords. He says although England has become more secular, to him the king is a constant reminder of the Christian faith that was epitomized during King Charles III coronation. Uh, there was a part of the coronation where he goes into this tent and makes his solemn vows. The things which I have here before promised. To God, to serve him all his life. And if you remember, the moderator of the Church of Scotland presents the king with what he describes as the most precious gift this world affords, and that is the Bible. The protocol in the British monarchy is that the king is not just the head of the monarchy, but also the state. He does provide continuity, and that's what I, I like. I think, you know, when the monarch dies, they always say, if it's a man, they say, the king is dead. Long live the king, the next one. So it, it, there's no period, there's no long period for elections and that sort of thing. And his wife, that is the queen, does not share in his position. The queen consort was not anointed like the king was, so she's aware that her position is just slightly subsidiary to his, you know, but he depends on her tremendously. In public, the Queen Consul Camilla walks a few steps behind the king as a sign of respect to the king. While he has no political powers, the king's role is service to the people. And when the people get the chance to meet the king, there are certain protocol etiquettes when it comes to shaking hands. I think the queen said how many hands she must have shaken in her lifetime. I think in the end, it gets a bit tired, actually, and some don't always shake hands very sensibly. Sometimes they grasp it very hard, you know, and he pulls it away. Girls or ladies are supposed to curtsy, and men are supposed to bob their head. So is Tony going to be part of the king's entourage? My dear, I'm a nobody, you know. <laughs> if I hear that he's going to be seen driving, I'll try and go on the side of the road and wave, wave to him, you know. Uh, maybe a Union flag or something, I don't know. A Union flag and a Kenyan flag, really. Uh, that's what I'd like to do. Although the King's visit has elicited mixed reactions, Tony believes there is much to gain from this century-long relationship. Um, I do believe that he's going to help to bring a more warm relationship you talked about shaking hands yes. i think it's time we all shook hands and forgot the past don't you what's that <laughs> marie amber reporting for kbc channel one